Okay, I hope you enjoyed the smart objects between Illustrator and Photoshop. And oftentimes in the real world, with my real world work and the different projects that I'm working on, oftentimes it isn't just text that I'm bringing into Photoshop over from Illustrator. It's all kinds of things, different kinds of shapes and cartoons and word bubbles and all kinds of wacky things. But in any regard, what I want to do here is I want to finish off our template design here that we've been working on. There's just a couple of little things I want to do here. First of all, you'll notice that the arcing text that I brought in from Illustrator is riding over the top of my big fluffy clouds text. So all I'm gonna do there is I'm gonna grab my big fluffy clouds layer, head into free transform, command T or control T, and holding down option and shift or alt and shift, I'm just gonna scale that text in just a little bit, maybe something like that, hit enter. And you know, because Big Fluffy Clouds is the name of the band and Cloud Nine is the name of the album, the name of the band should be bigger than the name of the album, right? So I'm gonna select Cloud Nine there inside my layers palette, same story, Command T or Control T, and I'll just scale down this text just a little bit, maybe something like that. Okay, great. One more thing I want to do here, going back to our issue of smart objects between Illustrator and Photoshop, just because we have a smart object inside our Photoshop layout doesn't mean that we can't apply layer styles to the smart objects. So check this out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to double click over on the right hand side of my smart object layer. That brings me into my layer style dialog box. And now what I could do is I could maybe apply a stroke to my smart object, something like this, or maybe a drop shadow, or maybe an outer glow or an inner glow or something like this, right? But I think what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna keep it really simple. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply a color overlay. And a color overlay is a layer style or a layer effect that I find that I use quite often. And essentially what it does is it changes the color of the content of the layer. So in our case, the color of the text. So all I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna make my text white. So I've turned on the color overlay layer style into the options here towards the right. I'm gonna click on my color swatch and instead of red, I'm gonna make this guy white, something like that. Go ahead and click on okay. Now, if you wanna make any additional changes, if you wanna add in any other layer effects, go for it. Maybe you wanna add in a drop shadow of some sort, or maybe you wanna apply that stroke or something. I'm gonna leave mine the way it is. I'm gonna go ahead and click on okay. And as before, we now have our layer effects applied to that vector smart object layer inside Photoshop's layers panel.